I, uh, I need to get a few things off my chest before we begin. I need to explain a couple of things and make some observations. First of all, my mother-in-law went to mybookie.ag and she put in the promo code, capital V-I-C, and bet the Dodgers last night to win, and she won. She's 3-0. and just go to mybookie.ag and put in the promo code capital V-I-C if you like to bet on all sports. I don't give a shit. Just do it if you want to. If you don't, you don't have to. And you're welcome for all these winning picks, you ungrateful turds. Okay, my th uh, some of my thoughts. That was a nut-breaking game uh, last night. Um... You showed fight, and that means a lot. Frazier, Todd Frazier, seriously, um, uh, you misplayed a routine hard ground ball on the first batter of the game, and that never works out well. Uh, then the second, you make a nice stab at a ground ball, then you make a throwing error to second. Um, I get it. Uh, you're a human. But try being a human another time, okay? I don't understand how a pitcher can be so sharp and then so off. Robertson, Batances, whatever. The cold strikeout on Bird was a fucking complete horse shit. Two pitches in a row at his ankles, cold strikes. Just fucking horse shit or bullshit. Pick any, any of your shits, whatever you want. You know, I'm glad the home plate umpire got drilled in his fucking forehead. I really, I was glad. Tori, yes. Okay, here's the fucking gospel. You don't ever get picked off second base with nobody out late in a tie game. Do you understand you have nowhere to go? You can be sacrificed over the third and score on another sacrifice. You could score on a single from second as easily from third in many cases. We needed one run, you fucking little nitwit. What the fuck were you thinking? Jesus Christ almighty. I can't with you fucking guys. I can't with you fucking guys. You're driving me to the fucking grave, you motherfuckers. Uh, let me explain. Let me explain who I am, you fucking imbeciles. I am not the manager, as you know, okay? I am not the general manager, as you know. I was given the title of G-E-P-B-O, Grand Exalted Poobah of Baseball. Operations back in 1973 when George bought the Yankees. I have unbelievable power in the organization. And I could talk to George from the grave at times. I can. I have a contract that makes it impossible for me to be fired. That said, I can only advise Girardi and Cashman. They have their roles and they must do their job. I, I can suggest and yell and make suggestions to the owners. Really, to anyone. And many follow what I say, but I still have to let those nitwits do their jobs. That being said, Girardi, could you fucking overmanage and mismanage a bullpen more than yesterday? I get it. Don't take a chance with CC. Once it got to be one run, use the closers like it's a safe situation each inning. But we didn't need to get to that point. We weren't pitching CC anymore this series. So how do you not keep throwing him, you fucking moron? One out and a man on first and the sixth, and you pull him up eight three. He only threw seven. Look at me, you fuck. He only threw. He only threw seventy. Fuck. What? Seven pitches. You throw him. You keep him in until the first sign of trouble. You stay in it till his fucking arm falls off. God damn it! Enough with this fucking pitch count. The pen could have used any rest they have gotten. To the, in this day and age, what the fuck happened with the foul tip? 
with the foul tip off the bat. How do you not go to the replay challenge? I had eaten a lot of bran yesterday and had to step into the locker room to drop a deuce, so I missed the fucking whole thing. Sanchez, why aren't you screaming to Joe to challenge it? How does Cashman not text you immediately and simply say, challenge it? In this fucking day and age, how is somebody at home not texting you immediately? The whole fucking world saw the ball tip, the foul tip, fucking Sanchez, th for the third out, except you? How do you not challenge that? Somebody, somebody, help me, help me out here, Hendry. Help me, I'll help you out. Help me out here, Hendry. I don't know what the fuck anymore. What happened, Joe? Maybe you needed a translator to understand what Sanchez was saying, you fucking dope! Mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. Down 2-0. As you saw firsthand last night, anything can happen and did happen for both teams. We were up 8-3 to three into 6, you fucking jerk-offs. We pounded the tits off Gooba, okay? And we lost. We fought. We fought, but we lost the game. We had no business losing. We gave it to them gift wrap with a fucking red bow. But it showed me something I already knew. We can beat these fuckers. The beauty of baseball is that there is no clock, okay? You don't run out of time at the end. You could be losing 50 to nothing in the bottom of the ninth, and if you want to keep getting hits and scoring runs, you can. Let's go back to New York. Shake it off. Let's just shake off last night. We need to think about this game tomorrow and nothing more. It's the only game that matters now. Yesterday is gone. Okay. Go get your shit. Let's meet at the buses. Take the rest of the day off. Get your minds right. I'll see you at the stadium Sunday at noon. Think about what each one of you must do to be the difference in a game. Girardi, you sit with me on the plane. You too, Rothschild. I want you to explain to me exactly what you do as the pitching coach and why half our staff can't get through one fucking inning without getting shelled. Men, like Yogi said, it's never over until it's over. It's not over until the fat lady sings. I can't see a fat lady. I do see Cece, but he isn't a lady. Now get out of my fucking face.